Dale Carnegie, The Art of Public Speaking. Embark on a transformative journey within the pages of Dale Carnegie's The Art of Public Speaking, where you will learn to master the orator's craft, conquer stage fright, and hold audiences spellbound. Dive into vital topics, tips and techniques, from harnessing the power of the imagination, to using figurative language and capitalizing on crowd contagion. This summary will help you bolster your public speaking skills and navigate the murky waters of fear to emerge as an undeterred and compelling communicator. Mastering Speech Giving The art of public speaking is much like learning to swim, the only way to become skilled is by doing it. To master speech giving, it is essential to stay absorbed by the subject, prepare your speech, and maintain the humility to improve. The fear of speaking is natural, but it can be mastered. Do you recall learning to swim? You didn't learn by reading a manual but by actually swimming. Learning to master the art of public speaking is no different, giving speeches is the only way to become proficient. Many renowned speakers suffered from stage fright, but they learned to master their fear. To overcome apprehension, focus on the subject and message of your speech instead of worrying about your appearance or audience perception. Proper preparation is also essential to avoid doubts and misgivings that often assail unprepared speakers. It is suggested to memorize at least the first few sentences of your speech. Success is attained by developing vibrant humbleness, not complacency. Being open to improvement can lead to success in public speaking. Although the first speeches you give may feel like drowning, continued practice and implementation of these strategies will ultimately help your speech-giving skills improve. Mastering the Art of Speech Giving a speech is an art that can be compared to playing music. There are countless ways to give a speech successfully, but the first step is to master the basics. Monotony is the enemy of speech, just like it is the enemy of music. Emphasis is the first key to a dynamic speech. It involves stressing important words and using varied pitch and tone to keep the speech interesting. Changing your pace and inserting pauses are also helpful techniques for emphasizing your speech's central ideas. By mastering these techniques and incorporating them into your speeches, you can captivate and engage your audience with ease. Speaking from the heart The power of feeling is an essential tool for great speakers. The emotional force of enslaved black mothers decrying the inhumanity of slavery in their speeches was more impactful than any formal training in public speaking. Feelings guide us through life, and arousing the emotions in your listeners, even for a moment, is more powerful than hours of rational argument. To infuse speeches with feeling, a speaker must become their subject fully, wearing it like a costume and allowing it to possess them like a spirit, just like an actor. This strategy can help the speaker to inspire both interest and emotion in their listeners. A New York watchmaker's two ad campaigns show how the campaign that evokes emotions and pride in ownership can be twice as effective as an ad campaign that merely highlights a product's attributes. Mastering Gestures Effective gestures must be spontaneous and authentic, emerging from real emotions, but practice is essential to reduce awkwardness. This is similar to pronunciation, where practice lessens conscious effort. Watch yourself in a mirror to identify and eliminate unnecessary gestures. Balance movement with message, and ensure posture and expression match the speech's spirit. Do you recall the feeling of frustration that arises during horticultural difficulties? What if I tell you that a solution to these problems could be easily accomplished? Imagine grabbing your chainsaw in the garage, sawing off the branches of your neighbor's towering oak tree, hauling them to your yard, and nailing them gloriously to your tree's trunk. Unfortunately, it's not that easy. A tree's external appearance depends on its internal condition, but what about gesture? When giving a speech, movements and gesticulations must originate from real emotions. Theatrical, affected gestures will appear as ridiculous as oak branches nailed to an apple tree. Thus, gestures must be the spontaneous outgrowth of true feelings. But can you practice it? You cannot prepare each and every gesture, but you can watch and examine your movements in the mirror. 
Eliminate awkward or unnecessary gestures. Gesticulation is like pronunciation. The more you practice, the less you have to think about it, resulting in natural and effortless gestures. It is essential to get the balance right. Too much movement tends to distract the speech's message, but effective gestures should accompany the message, and facial expression and posture are both a form of gesture. So, once you have practiced, let the speech's subject guide you, and your gestures will soon be as powerful as your words. Improve your public speaking skills. If you want to improve your public speaking skills, you need good cardiovascular health, a strong pair of lungs, and relaxation. Strengthen your lungs and practice breathing using your diaphragm by doing simple exercises such as touching your fingers and inhaling deeply into your stomach. To relax, try moving your torso around in horizontal circles while keeping your neck and head relaxed. Additionally, pretend to yawn and speak to increase the volume and richness of your voice. Finally, pitch your voice forward to place it correctly and make even a whisper audible to all. By following these tips, you can improve your public speaking skills and deliver powerful speeches with ease. The Power of Crowd Mentality To make a powerful impact, arranging your audience in a clustered, united, and like-minded manner can transform them into a contagious and influential crowd. This power is seen in the mental contagion of crowds in concerts or autocratic governments' fear of anti-authoritarian sentiment spreading. By appealing to common concerns and fears, a speaker can ignite the hearts and minds of an audience and have their message spread like wildfire. Building and Demolishing Arguments In this book, the author emphasizes the importance of being capable of both building and tearing down arguments. The book provides a list of eight helpful questions divided into four categories that will enable one to test any argument. The four parts of every argument include the question under discussion, the evidence, the reasoning, and inferences. To test the first part, one must ensure that all the keywords are defined and used in the same manner by both parties while also examining whether the question is stated fairly. When examining the evidence, one must determine whether the experts quoted are impartial and reliable while ensuring that all facts used are debatable or confirmed. With regards to reasoning, an individual can consider whether there is a possibility of the facts supporting another conclusion, and whether all counterarguments have been shown to be relatively weak. Finally, to test for inferences, individuals should establish if their argumentative conclusion follows from the evidence, and if all pieces of evidence harmonize with each other. It is critical to direct these questions at both your own and your opponent's arguments. The book will enable any speech giver to be a double threat, invincible as a king in his castle with fortification felling clout. Imagery in public speaking Effective public speaking requires imaginative language and visualization techniques to connect with the audience and bring persuasive messages to life. To deliver a convincing speech that captivates the audience, one needs more than a solid argument built on logical links. The power of imagination is essential to add life, luster, and engagement to your speech. One way to achieve this is by using figurative language to ignite the listener's imaginations. Instead of reciting a long list of statistics to support a thesis, a speaker should weave a relatable narrative that sticks with the audience and emotionally connects them to the topic. Another technique is to mentally image the speech before delivery. This includes picturing the audience, their reactions, and anticipating any mishaps. By visualizing the speech, the speaker is less likely to forget crucial details and more likely to deliver an impactful message while also reducing anxiety. Consistent with poetry, public speakers often overlook that they are poets too. A captivating speech that is memorable and stands out requires the use of imagery and visualization techniques to bring persuasive messages to life. The audience will remember the descriptive stories, innovative language, and vivid images from a speech that stands out from the traditional format of a well-wrought chain of logical links. In conclusion, the art of public speaking equips you with valuable lessons to conquer stage fright, captivate crowds, and deliver memorable speeches by focusing on essential techniques such as emphasis, variation, pace, and gestures. 
Remember that practice makes perfect, and with determination, anyone can become an engaging and persuasive speaker. Keep the power of emotion and imagination in mind, and strive to unite your audience through shared experiences, ultimately amplifying the impact of your message. Embrace this transformative study to refine your public speaking abilities and make a lasting impression on audiences.